Good day after Christmas, everybody. Look, guess what I'm cooking? Uh, chicken hot dogs and crescent rolls, gourmet style, honey. We have eaten so much food and dessert, and the kids are here, so they don't, of course, they don't want nothing heavy to eat. So I'm gonna accommodate them uh, with these uh, hot dogs. They, they call pigs in a blanket. They're gonna get them today. These are um, chicken franks. Uh, I can't think the, the brand name, but these are chicken franks. So we're just going to roll them up like so. I think I let these sit out uh, to get um, a little bit too soft. So what I'm going to do basically is get them rolled up here. I'm going to pop them in the oven. I'm going to do two cans. You know, each can has um, eight rolls in it. So we're going to roll them. Uh, you need to roll them from the large end so that little flat piece will go over hope y'all had a god bless um christmas day that you had got all the gifts you wanted and that you had all the good food laid out that you wanted and that you had all the friends in that you wanted that everybody made it in you know by bus train car plane safely and that everybody now i guess some people are still there and hopefully They'll be able to stay through uh, New Year's. Don't you just love it when they can go ahead and stay through New Year's and I have to leave the next day? And I know some people who have to go back to work have to do that, especially if you travel from afar. You have to get on back in there to work. We understand. Okay. These are going to be so yummy. I haven't done this since my children were babies just about. So the kids are going to love these, you know. These teenagers, they don't want a whole lot of uh, sit-down food to begin with. And they're still hyped up and excited because they got hoodies and drones and all that kind of stuff for Christmas. And they are really, really excited about it. So we're going to get these uh, pigs on the blanket going. I said I was going to do just one can, but I think I better do two cans. Because just as sure as I do one can, those other boys will be in here. Because I, I basically don't have, I, I think I got some lasagna left. Because Tansy took, I made two big ones. And Tansy took one home with her. So I got part of another one. But I think they're in the market for something light and easy, breezy about like this. So we're going to let it go with these. So that's one can. And I'm going to go here. I think I'm going to just do both cans. Because just as sure as I do one can that I'll need to. Okay, got the other can out. Got them going. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cook two cans. So that means I have 16. Um, and that will surely be enough. You know, they have a couple with some, um, I don't know how to manage to tear these off. Weirdly. But anyway, they'll have a, a couple of hot dogs. Uh, what do you call it? pigs in a blanket with some chips and they can I'll make them some um, mustard and ketchup sauce and I think Lauren she just like must straight mustard on hers and uh, you know everybody likes a little bit of ketchup I guess I can't remember we haven't done hot dogs lately either so these got soft on I me mean, I had them sitting out and I guess they sit out a little bit longer than they should have so they just got doughy and gooey, so got one left to do. And we're gonna have us some pigs in the blanket. At least the kids are. I might try one. I haven't had these in ages, so I might go ahead and try one. Just for old times sake, y'all. Don't this just bring back memories? So these are gonna go into a uh, 375 degree oven for about, I think they have to stay in about 15 minutes, 12, 15 minutes. Okay, they're ready to go in. So if y'all want need any ideas about what to do for your kids, there it is. I'm gonna spray them with some, um, I always spray them down real good. With some olive oil, spray the pan and spray the individual food. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these into the oven. And we shall return. Okay, y'all. I believe that our little dogs in the blanket, little chicken, 
these are chicken hot dogs, so I guess you could call them pigs in a blanket still. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and take them out. I think they're ready. Um, and I, I'm going to let the kids, they can serve themselves pretty much. I'm going to let them have some chips and, of course, a cup of good old brown sugar lemonade. They've been snacking so much here recently, they may not even be hungry now, but I'm going to go ahead and get these little treats out of the oven. This is going to be din din today. Because we still got dessert. I still got banana pudding. Oh, yeah. They're ready. Those look really good. Don't those look gourmet to y'all? Okay, these, are, these should be wonderfully good. I'm just going to let them sit right there on the thing. I'm going to put these in plates right there. And they're going to have some, let's say, some chips with it. Some, um, mustard and ketchup to put on them and they can just keep right on like they celebrating christmas i can hear them down there talking hopefully they're ready to eat food. one thing about food i like to eat it when it's hot okay let's get the ketchup mustard Ketchup, mustard, and hot sauce. Ketchup. Yeah, okay. They're ready. Okay. Now, like I said, they can get something to drink. Uh, Lauren, man, man, Tania, man, man, Lauren, Tania, Tania, Lauren, and man, man. I have to call them three times. They haven't come yet. So I wonder did they not hear those three different summons. Of this. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready to eat now? Yes. Okay. Ooh, are those pigs in a blanket? Oh, yeah. Pigs in a blanket. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all can say hey and say Hi, Merry guys. Christmas. Have y'all uh, said Merry Christmas to anybody? Merry Christmas. Please, I, hope, I hope y'all uh, oh, had a great Christmas. So we're about yeah. to eat pigs in a blanket. Oh, um, now, now y'all. Hey, they get ready. They 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 get ready to eat their gourmet pigs in a blanket. Y'all wash your hands and y'all just use the tongue. Eight pigs in a blanket. Really? Oh. I'm only used to like regular hot dogs. I never tried uh, pigs. In a blanket. They're saying they never ate these before. Maybe I never fixed them because I'm not a. Um, well, we've eaten hot dogs, but we use buns. They've never eaten them like this, so they're in for a treat. So anybody that knows about pigs in a blanket, know y'all. This is a now. When I was growing up, because my mom and them would do it with the um, crescent rolls. They would do it. These are kind of stuck together. They would do ours with uh, canned biscuits, okay? So, y'all, they're going to they're gonna be uh, in for a wonderful, wonderful tree here shortly. Make sure everything is up from there. Laura, you, have you not had these before either? Okay, yeah. I'm going up having them, so. Lauren says she grew up having them, so she so her mom's cooking for her. I just, they just hadn't had them over here. Okay, so y'all can go ahead and help you a plate. Oh, See, such a gentleman. Be careful at the end of that pan; they're still hot. Okay. I just took them out of the oven, so they'll be nice and hot for you. Okay. Um, y'all know the lemonade is made. Y'all get you a cup of lemonade. Okay. Make sure. Mama knows. Okay. What's Tania. Come on, eat Tania. Yeah. Share my song with someone. She's on. Did y'all say we're on the phone? Oh, it did. Okay, y'all. The kids have gotten their pigs in a blanket. They get ready to sit down, relax, and enjoy. This is their after Christmas meal. This is as much as we can handle today. So they're in there getting ready to eat. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hope y'all had a God-blessed Christmas today and that you got everything that you wanted uh, for Christmas and was able to give everything that you wanted to give. And we just want to continue to pray and keep people lifted up through this season that any downtrodden hearts or any loneliness, 
we just said we all band together and said we love each other and we try to fill in the gap for each other for those loved ones that we miss uh, and suffice it to say that and hopefully we have some reconciliation going on and if you did please let me know uh, in the comments so that uh, I can help you rejoice during those times so uh, until I decide to cook again I'm going to say love you guys. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Uh, keep on giving. It's still the season. Kwanzaa's coming up. Uh, you know, you got to keep the Kwanzaa going. Um, I'm not going to have enough video to do all of the talk about Kwanzaa. But anyway, until I cook again, love you guys. Toodaloo.